This is the Man Cow Morning Show Podcast. Listen to the show live weekday mornings, 5.30 to 9.30. On 97.9, The Loop. Blind people have four times the nightmares of people with sight. But what about robots? Do they dream of electric sheep? Hello? Man Cow. Yes, you got him. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm doing great, bud. Hey, I've been listening to your show for a long time, man. I heard someone say this is your last time. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. Let me, if, for people that are just joining us, okay? Let me just tell you. There's, well, you, you explain it, Mr. Chameleon. So there's a lawsuit and our company. Lawsuit? There's not a lawsuit. Well, our company might go back to its original owners if they don't work out an it's agreement not, it's today. It's not a lawsuit, though. It's, it, it's what, in court. It's what? in, there's, yeah, there's a court. It's not a lawsuit. The, the company is, the company is bankrupt. Uh, we were, um, I, you know, the bulls and socks and all this. And of course, uh, nobody's listening to the bulls and the socks. And, uh, so we had some really great deals that we had done. <laughs> and, uh, we're in bankruptcy court and they're trying to restructure the company. Very common. The company is called Cumulus. The, um, but the, the, nobody owns us right now. We are essentially in limbo. It's like a, and if a deal's not worked out today, then we won't be here tomorrow. Everybody thinks something's going to happen. I don't think they're, look, this, this thing blows off millions of dollars. They're not, they're not, no, nobody involved, the banks, the people that sold it to the company, the company that, that ran us, and nobody wants to see this thing go under. I mean, this thing is a smash. This is a legendary radio station. Something will happen. And it could happen without me. One of the one of the things we hear is that um, the iHeart people, which is mixed, is going to get 101, and that uh, whoever owns the drive, I don't even know the company, who owns the drive? The same company owns the drive and the mix. Okay. So is iHeart mixed? iHeart's like uh, KISS FM. Okay, KISS. I, me- I messed up. So KISS is going to get 101, and uh, and then the, and is it Hubbard Communications? Yeah. Who owns the drive? They're gonna. They don't want to have two rock stations and you know in the market beating each other up. So they're going to get rid of the drive, and uh, and and maintain the loop. That's that's one thing that they've tried to do. And of course, they would keep this show. Um, what's the other thing I've heard? I've heard that I'm replacing Imus, but I'm not old enough yet. I've got too much life in me. You have about thirty uh, more Ar- years. It's not armor for a <laughs> Um. There was another group that's interested that doesn't have a rock. They don't have a rock station. What does, um, what's the former CBS have? Intercom. Do they have, do they have a, Intercom. Do they have a rock station? They have XRT. Well, that's, this would be a nice one-two punch with that. Yeah. So I've heard that too. So that's where we're at. So we just don't know. We're in limbo. And, uh, I don't want to depress you. I'm not depressed. Happy as a clam I am, and they are very happy. This was a victory lap that none of us expected. A triumph. You people have responded more than anyone thought. This is the highest rated morning show in Chicago. There's over 2 million people. I don't know about right now, but certainly within an hour, there'll be about 2 million people listening. That's incredible. Most TV shows nowadays don't get that. So that's where we find ourselves as we wait for the blood moon. Steve Hackett is coming up, one of the founders of Genesis. All requests. That's what we're doing. Some great moon songs. <laughs> moon. I didn't realize there were so many great moon songs. We got some great moon songs coming up too. This is the loop. Pink Floyd. My number is five nine one rock or five nine one roll. Slip a three one two in front of that. And maybe two fingers. Well, no, people just No, 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 no. It's not the end of the world. People just move. That's all. They're moving to Chicago. They're moving out of here. Um these Muslim attackers with the acid uh, in Europe, now there's a guy going around throwing ice water in people's faces, acting like it's acid. Did you see this? Yeah. <laughs> it's stupid. And filming it as an Internet prank. Yeah. Acting like they he's... They have different rules, I guess, in those countries. Acting like he's a Muslim guy throwing acid in people's faces. 
Wow. So we may be off the air just in time for Black History Month. God, my favorite month of the year. Al Al has crafted so much stuff for Black History. He has special features every day. (laughs) Why? Black mystery movies every day. (laughs) George Washington. Where was where was Man Cow Mullah? He's gonna be someplace black every every day. day. Every day. Where was he? Harold's Chicken. Sir, I'm sorry, Al. Please. You're coughing, sir. What the hell? Well, Al is trying to sing. I'm trying to sing. What's wrong? Yeah, what's up? I'm putting my throat up, Kathy. Man, I love you, love you, show. Hey, man. I, I just want to say, I know how you support the United States uh, Armed Forces, and you're pr- yes. you're proud of them and everything. Yeah. What did you What did you think of one guy Gutierrez running out because he was pissed at the chant of USA last night? Right here, complete. You know, anti-American man. See, it's not, it's not, it's not, he's not about America. He's about the destruction of America. He a guy had like to go that. to the bathroom. It was oh, a very long speech. Well, that could be too, yes. He had to go potty. Hello. <laughs> hey, I want to tell you two things I love about your show, man. Yeah, okay. Eating beaver and kicking ass. Hell yeah. You know, That's brother, right. it is what I do. You do. That is what you I do. do that well. is the voodoo yes. that I do do. It's absolutely true. Hey, man, I love you, love your show. Go ahead, Helsinki. Hey, Jared, local, too. I want to tell you something. That guy that said he doesn't like your show, I let him know if he wants to go fishing with me with my concrete buddies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kill him. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Kill him. <laughs> he doesn't like the show. Kill him. <laughs> That's a loyal listener. Wow. I wouldn't like to kill someone who doesn't like the show. Wow. Cement shoes. Nice. Yeah. Send him a bumper sticker. Hello. That's a good, that's a good guy's willing right to kill there. for me. Yep. I need more of those people in my life, and that's the truth. Hello. Man cow, what's going on? You are, brother. What can I do for you? Uh, I just wanted to thank you, and I have a friend here that wants to thank you for all the laughs. and oh, all. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Let's hear the friend. Who, who's the friend? I bet his name's Herbert. I'm thinking, too. So how's it going, Mr. Man? <laughs> It's going good. (laughs) I just wanted to say to whoever's going to potentially not make you be on the radio tomorrow, listen here, you son of a bitch. No, 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 wait, wait, Herbert, 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 Herbert. hang hang, hang on a second, hang on a second. Calm down. Nobody's nobody's done anything wrong. This is, you know, the station sold for a hundred and, listen, listen, Herbert, Herbert, the station sold, I think, for a hundred and twenty-five million, and it's now worth around thirty-five million. Oh. And they're trying to redo the deal. Oh wow! So right. no, ra- radios radios just changed. Just as many people listen. Yes. I think we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater, but that's just how it is. Sure. So no, there's no there's no villains here. If there was, believe me, you'd hear it. And I don't have a contract. I don't work for anybody right now. I could say anything yeah. about anybody and not care. That's true. You're a free agent. It's, it's a rare time in my life. Nobody can come in here and yank me off the air. I mean, the bank could, I guess. It's it's a um, it's a company owned by Bruce. Our governor owns that. Seems like a Owns this, and which I think one? which company? Bruce this Rauner. One? Bruce Rauner owns this station. Okay. Wow. Well, his the way he made his money, and it, you know, it's an investment company. Okay. So they have a portfolio worth billions, gotcha. and we're and this is in it. Part of it, yeah. Yeah. So, Wait, her, so her, our governor's a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Herbert, hello. <laughs> yes, sir. What? Okay, Herbert. Herbert, I want to know any thoughts about this. I guess he was a pedophile, right? Oh, from Glee, yeah, yeah. They killed, they killed himself. Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Abe. Yes. Can you see if Leslie's in the? I know he was laying in the lobby. He's underneath what, the desk, actually. By what, you. What, wait. What's he doing? What's he doing under there? What, what's he doing? By you. I want to talk to him. Hang on. Yeah. You come up to the mic, Leslie. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! 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 Pigs. Oh. Of a sexual nature are not allowed on this program. <laughs> not allowed. That's right. Thanks to Trump, the paperwork has been cleared up, and we're going to be able to do it in 2020. But it, there's a there's a bit of time we got to wait here till we can do pigs of a sexual nature. <laughs> so Leslie, you know, let's say we. I know you have to get up early, and I know you were out at Boys Town. At Boys Town yeah, last I night. I up with this. No, no, I don't care about Cuban that. Cuban guy last night. A hung Cuban guy, just like Desi Arnaz. How is? Maybe it was. Maybe it was Desi Arnaz Jr. Oh, it might have been. Yeah. Let me ask you this, brother. Let me ask you this. If we don't have to work tomorrow, we're going to find out today whether or not, you know, the stations, yeah. who owns this? 
if we don't have to work tomorrow, is Wednesday night a good night in Boys Town? Oh, it's the best night. I thought Thursday nights were. Well, Thursday nights are great, too, but Wednesdays are the better because all guys like you come out who are closeted. I, oh. I, know, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. So what do you got? So what are you going to do? What are you gonna do? What are you... Uh, this is with Wade and JoJo, JJ, La Bamba Rodriguez, the Twink Triplets. This is called Boys Night Out for... Uh. Sing it. Mm -hmm. Blood Moon time is starting. Yes, the super blue blood moon. How creepy does that sound? This is the beginning of apocalypse, correct? That's Some what believe. people say. I still have food saved over from 17 years, 18 years ago now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the world was coming Y2K. to that. That's right. Do you remember? Hold on a second. Kathy, do you remember what that was called? Yeah, Y2K. Damn. <laughs> I hate when you look smart. Because <laughs> the only way I feel better about myself is by be belittling others. Aww. And I, I, oh, man. The only way I can feel good about me is putting other people <laughs> down. You can put me down all day. I don't care. Oh, man. Stop Whatever it. Whatever it takes you know to what? make you happy. The world has already put you down enough as a woman. Am I right? That's right. You need to go march with a giant velvet female part on your head and I scream. Do. I and do. I do. And then go home. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, do we have those letters? It's the Man Cow Morning Show Podcast, so no prizes for you. Listen live for the free stuff. Weekday mornings, 5.30 to 9.30 on Chicago's Classic Rock Station, 97.9 The Loop. God, you're not going to have a blood moon for, what, another three weeks? That's right. <laughs> Listen, how about peace of mind? That's why I wear adult diapers. Oh, nice. <laughs> not, I, don't, I don't need they them. They have flowers on them I don't now. need them. I just, they I, do. I, I saw that. I just don't want to get off the couch. I'll have my, I'll, I'll, when I get when I it has a little bell that goes off when I hit twenty pounds. Mm -hmm. oh, my wife it. comes right. changes right. me. Oh. Get my nappy. That is disgusting. Anyway, yes, listen, yes, I'm telling you, I'm sitting there. I don't want to get off the couch with Xfinity. My wife kept saying, "When is a commercial break?" This guy's talking for a long time. Well, honey, that's the president, and uh, <laughs> and she's, she said to me, she said to me, "Oh, she's so cute." My wife, she said to me. <sighs> I'm really embarrassed by this. Oh, no. What did she say? I, I, that's I, I, you I, have I, to tell that's us, That's all right. Please. We all have wives Al, that say things that Al, are really You have those moments with your oh, lovely wife? Absolutely. Oh, didn't, didn't I, I always something? say, don't. I said, I said, talk to me before you go out in public. Oh, the, the, so, yeah. so, so, <laughs> me too. <laughs> what what, what happened what? with the cat food and the dog food? That was really funny with Claire. No, she bought, she bought dog food instead of cat food. And you have two cats. Yes. It's got you a, notice the uh, yeah. dog. The dog on, on the, the cover. Yes. <laughs> My wife says, is he still doing Celebrity Apprentice? I'd like to yeah. watch <laughs> we, uh, Yes. We should watch that yes, again. Yes, he is. Honey, are you, what? Did she really? Yes. Mm. I think it's a good question. People would watch. Me too. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the calls. Hello, Jason. Yeah, how's it going, man, Cal? Good, brother. What's up? Good. You know what? I just had an idea for your last day. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people would like to send you off right. Uh, why don't you have a party down at the station and invite people to come out and meet you? You know, one you last know what? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Oh, if, this, if this is my Great last idea. day. Yeah. Great idea. If this, you know, we're giving away gold records off the wall and yeah, sign really? guitars. Jason, let's go. Jason, are you free Everything this morning? Let's go. Jason. Every. <laughs> Every, everything in Troy's office is whatever you guys uh, want. The John Lennon 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 take it. Take it. We got bobbleheads. That's Brand Meyer's chair. Thanks, <laughs> stank. 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 Hey Jason, are you free this morning? To okay, dude, in? dude, we're not we're not gonna do that, okay? Uh, I know we're this could be our last show. We're not gonna so do that. We're not gonna spend the morning like that. Okay, so the deal is we're not supposed to look at the uh the super blue blood I don't blood believe moon. that, by the way. You're not supposed to look at it, dude. I think you could look at it. I'm going to look so. at it because no, it, it only cheese. happens no. like once every 18 years don't or something. Do it, I'm do looking it. at it. Don't do it. I'm going to look at it. No, I'm going to look at it. You're not supposed 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 to look at it. You
I'd like to dance with you, you again. Dance again. Oh, yeah. you're such a great dancer. We had good moves together, I thought. So, like, I was just thinking, yes. how do you think it would be if we got together? Oh, I think you'd be very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't I don't even think I could get my pants off. That'd be it. Just the thought of it. No. Uh, uh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> just cut straight to the now, sandwich. Now, let me explain, let me, let me expl let me explain something. <laughs> let me explain something. Yes. A year or two, I would have given you... Oh, it would have been a long setup and a long, it would have just been long and, but now high T man. Ah. <laughs> See, low T man a year ago before new mail could right. have lasted a long, boring sure, time. Sure, sure. Would have been like watching uh, a mini series. Okay. <laughs> now high T man. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> you think about the amount of pleasure that you could give me though. Yes. And all I've done for you in your career. Sure. You've done a lot for me. <sighs> Will you just wait here while I shower? <laughs> <laughs> we got a blue moon right now. A super blue blood moon, and we only have three minutes. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. What's your favorite thing? Not to eat, but just to put your mouth all over. Ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Goody. Very good. State of the Union last night. I think we saw that. A lot of people don't even pick a party anymore, I don't think. Left or right, Democrat, Republican. There's just a lot. A lot of people just hate the country. Guterres from Chicago walked out mad when they started chanting USA, USA. Record unemployment for African Americans in the Black Caucus was pissed. Makes me think maybe the Black Caucus really isn't interested in jobs at all. What are they interested in? I thought uh, the speech a few days here before the Super Bowl where our president said, hey, assholes, stand up and respect the flag. Isn't that something that everyone can agree on? People died for this flag. Seriously, I don't care what color you are or religion. If you're in America, can't you get behind that? They were pissed off about that. Pissed off about the flag. Pissed off about chance of USA. Pissed off about great numbers for African Americans working. That's just racist. Racist not to be happy when African Americans are working. But see, if they're working, the whole scam is over, isn't it? That, that whole, that whole industry of the Jesse Jackass and the Farrakhan and the piss off black people crowd all the time, when they finally figure out that Whitey isn't out to get them, that we're all Americans, we're in this together, when that's over, their little gig is up. The Maxine Waters and all these other pissed off, phony, baloney, rich African Americans that live to create hate. The Al Sharptons of the world. And you saw it last night. Good news. The lowest African American unemployment in history. And they're still pissed. So what does that tell you? They don't want things to get better. Because if things get better for their people, they're out of work. Their job is keeping people pissed. Keeping the white boogeyman alive. There's a white person under every. That's how. That's how they've done it in Chicago. Yeah, live in the ghetto. Walk over your dead kids. White people. Ooh, it's just a lie, folks. I don't care what color you are. Every man wants the same thing, and that's to feed his kids. We want our kids to get a good education. We love our children. We want to live in a place that's safe, and we don't want to get a damn. Effing red light ticket when we turn right on red. Assholes. We don't want insane property tax. We want to be able to send our kids to college and pay for our dreams. Not some government bureaucrat. The black caucus pissed because there's good news for black people in America. Wow. Wow. And Gutierrez? Come on. He's not, he's not, uh, he's not pro America. He wants America gone. He wants the destruction of America. He's rooting for Mexico, man. He's not He's not American. He hates America. It's funny, isn't it? I don't care. I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about any specific country. It's just interesting to me. People flee countries, come here. If we send them back, it's torture. It's inhumane for them to go back to their country. But then they want to do everything in their neighborhoods to make it like their country, and they fly their country's flag. 
See, I think they ought to, they ought to fly that flag. You know what the red represents? The blood shed. They ought to fly that, that stars and bars. You know our flag, folks. When people wake up and realize we are all the same, we all have the same dreams, when love wins, that's when change begins. Real change. Until then, madness. Goonie, do you like black people? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. I got one right here, Al Roker. That's right, we got one right here. <laughs> hey, Goonie. <laughs> hey, man. hey, Al. Al, more importantly, do you like white people? We are expecting a phone call today, maybe our last show. Uh, it's hard to explain, but when you buy something for uh, $120 million, and then it's worth $30 million, and you're still paying off more than it's worth, it's kind of like a house. Do you leave it? My friend Dewey bought a house in the ghetto because right. it was going to flip. Mm -hmm. I, I never understood that. Oh, it's this neighborhood's changing. Well, then, sure. then it didn't change. Right. So now he's sitting... He's stuck with it. With the loud he's music underwater. playing all the time, thumping of bass. I don't appreciate you making light that of the situation, good. though. I feel like you're making fun of it. This Every, is really serious. Everything being stolen who? Dewey? No, you with this whole radio station you? thing. I mean, our oh, life. Okay. Us. Well, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. So so Dewey owes more on his house than it's worth. Yeah. Yes. And he talked to David Hochberg about, should I walk? Okay, so let me clue you in. So the station sold for, I think, 120 some odd million. Right. Now in 2018, it's valued at 30 million. Yeah, this sh this show makes millions of dollars a year. The station sure. makes millions a year. It's still good business. Yeah, but they declared bankruptcy, and now they're trying to redo the deal. A right. very common thing. Right, it happens. We will know today, but that's where we're at. And there's a good chance, not a good chance. There's a chance. Kathy, don't don't cry. I, I don't know. No, no, we'll probably, we'll, hang on. How hang am on. I going to put food on the table? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I have a way you can earn some money. Hang on. He's looking under the toilet stalls and he goes, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm the man cow, this is the loop. The blood moon is over. We are all blind. Blood is shooting out of our eyes. Oh. The goose, the, uh, the, the goose island people are here with, uh, some beer. Mm. Nice. Goonie, can you drink? Yes, I could. Okay, all right. How are you old enough to drink? Yes, I am. Okay, good, I'm good. The, uh, I'm the oldest one in here. All right, well, listen, we have a, but mentally, you're the youngest. It's the Man Cow Morning Show Podcast, which means you can't call in. Well, you can, but you're going to end up talking to some part-time board op with a speech impediment. Listen live for the real deal. Weekday mornings, 530 to 930 on The Loop. David? Yes, sir. Okay, so the station is uh, bankrupt. <laughs> Paid a hundred and uh, I don't know twenty five million for it. It's worth about thirty million now. Years later, so you know they were paying more than it was worth. So they're trying to renegotiate. Yeah, this is this is all pretty standard. Is this kind of the same thing you did for my friend Dewey, who owed more on his house in the ghetto? I I, I just want to warn people about buying houses in the ghetto because you think Hockberg. it's the, yeah David Hockberg because <laughs> you think that it's going to flip. Yeah. I've had a lot of friends do that. Well, right. I'm going to make money. In the meantime, you're ten years where you don't want to be. Right, it's okay. awful. So my friend Dewey's stuck in the hood because it's going to flip. Sure. I don't and think that area is ever going to flip. Yeah, it doesn't seem he's, like it. Oh, it was going to. He yeah, was oh, sure. The United, he was gonna... Center, the United <laughs> Center has been there for 20 years now, so I don't think, you know. Yeah. So Hockberg. Hockberg. Yes, sir. What did you tell Dewey? I mean, is is there a time when a guy like Dewey should just leave it? Well, it, it, you know, I, I legally call it a ghetto. I would call it an up-and-coming neighborhood uh, in order to not violate their housing laws. But um, uh, there are programs out there, Minkow, that individuals can get up to $50,000 from the state of Illinois under the IRE finance program if they're upside down and underwater, which we're in the process of helping your friends. Oh, I didn't realize we were talking to a computer. I thought we were talking to a human being, the David Hochberg we see around our lunchroom. <laughs> oh. I didn't realize I was – thanks for boring me to death. Hey, you're not on WLS. I'm not Big John. You don't have to suck. Oh. Okay, why don't, you, why don't you talk to me like a human being, David? Seriously, what is this? This is not a David Hochberg I, I even uh, okay, recognize. Okay, okay. <laughs> here was the question. Here was the question. Yeah. Yeah, if okay. you're getting screwed like Dewey was, why not just leave the house? You can't just leave the house because it's going to blow up your credit and it's going to follow you. And now the... Uh, okay, that's that's a real answer. Now, that's real answer. What, what our station is going through, where we this radio station is currently owned by a bank. This could be our last show. So what I'm asking you is, it's pretty standard, though, what's going on, right? I mean, this is this happens in the business world all the time. Sure, they're in the process of renegotiating, and who's going to blink first, and 
All I know is that I'm going to commercial for free until they fit this out. So it's great for me. I mean, I'm having a blast. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, I, I'm not getting billed while you're in bankruptcy. This is awesome for me. So I, I wow, just, no wonder we're in bankruptcy. Oh, no. no wonder. <laughs> we let Hotberg on for free. Oh, my gosh. I told him to triple up you know, my schedule, and then uh, we'll figure it out later. Wow. Well, you, you understand why. Nobody owns us. Yeah, who yeah, can charge right, us? No, right. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. What do you think is going to happen, Hochberg? With with you guys at the loop? Yeah. I think I'd be around. It's a great. It's a great. Uh, it's a great station. Thank you, great David. Great station. I needed, great I needed your validation today. Thank you. <laughs> I feel worthy today. <laughs> Kathy's been crying. Everybody's upset. Oh, guys, I'm worried. Upset. I don't know what See, I'm going to do. See, this is why I go to church. Situation. This is why I'm telling you guys. You got to go to Harvest Bible with me. I'm telling you. Why can't I go to the I, Greek Orthodox Church? Because you don't understand. Oh, you do speak Greek. I do. I love my friends that go to the Greek Orthodox Church, and they don't understand one word. <laughs> I know. My friend Billy, my friend Tom. Right. They don't understand. They don't even anything. know if they're married. They don't even know if they're married because they didn't understand anything that was said in, this, in, this, in the uh, sermon. I say sermon, service, they're whatever. They're Greek, right. Well, no, they're one, one, no, I think they're Greek. I think they just don't speak Greek. Billy Is it true if you walk around the table, you're married in the Greek church? Because that happened on Full House. You Is it true if you're a bottom, you're gay? <laughs> you what is it, three times? Two men getting together? Time? You walk around the table three times Because DJ church. got married on Full House married? that way. Oh, that's a good And then show, they walked in it? reverse, <laughs> and then they were divorced. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just saying, I am ready for this. I When storms come, you got to be ready. you got to meditate. you got to pray. you got to get ready, because storms are coming, guys, always, for every one of us. I pray, and yes. but, but I'm still scared. Why? I'm right because you nothing to fear. I don't know how I'm going to put food on the table. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. I spent a lot of money on Christmas. Yeah. I just, I, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting the company to go bankrupt. Yeah, well, what were, the, what, what could the signs have been? Uh, Anthony, hello. The letters we got all last year saying we're going bankrupt. Let's go to Anthony. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How's it going, man? Good. You know, sorry that you guys are going through all of this, but I think you guys will be sticking around. I think we'll be show. fine, brother. So, how's everything else going? Every, everything's good. Uh -huh. Yeah, everything's fine. All right. Cheese and beer, what could go right mm. today? Oh, my God. Man, this is delicious. Mm. An explosive this combination here in the wow. studio. Incredible stuff. Goose Island is here. The return of Goose Island. We'll talk about that. Aviva, welcome to the program. Hi, thanks for having me. So, what are life hacks, first of all? Well, life hacks are little tricks that we use to avoid minor fails, you know, things that are frustrating and yet completely avoidable, like you don't have to water your plants to death or spill coffee on your clean white shirt. So give me some new life hacks. Well, they're not new, but, you know, they might be new to you. And here's one that I use every day, literally every day. So uh, I drive across the trap Tappan Zee Bridge and I get blinded at night by the headlights of the oncoming cars. So... Instead of just cursing and getting lights burned into my brain, uh, here's what you do. You gaze down and slightly to the right, and you use the lines of the road to guide you until you can look back. And that is literally a lifesaver. Okay, look down and right, and oh, then look back. I like that. To avoid the glare. Yeah. yeah. It, it sounds really simple, but, you know, you're going to use that tonight and be super grateful. What, what, do I, what do I do if I have stale potato chips? If you have stale potato chips... You put them, just pop them right in the microwave for 30 seconds to give them a second life because Whoa. the microwave will take out that moisture that's making them soggy. So the that's microwave interesting. might wow. be bad for your leftover pizza. This morning I cut myself shaving. I'm still bleeding. There's blood all over the mic. It's dripping. I can't get it to stop. <laughs> what do I do? Well, instead of putting toilet paper, little pieces of toilet paper on your face, uh, scoop up a little bit of shaving cream that's mm -hmm. left on the nozzle and dab it on the cut. Because if you use toilet paper, when you pull it off, that tiny scab that forms, you're going to take that with you and open up the skin again. So go with the shaving cream instead. It will stop the bleeding and then dissolve. A little shaving cream on the cut. Oh, wow. I've never heard that. that. Speaking of toilet paper, not, and that's usually what I do, is I put a piece of toilet paper on it when I cut myself shaving. Because we saw it in the movies. Yeah. I, don't know if I, had a, I don't know if I had a cleaner cut or what happened, but back in the day, a couple of couple of sheets of, uh, or maybe I didn't care as much, a couple of sheets of toilet paper I was done. Now I wipe and wipe, take a nap and wipe and wipe. I have to wipe a lot more than I used to. Uh, what can I do? <laughs> Uh, well, um, are you telling me that you have messy stools? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what I'm saying. 
Okay, well, then I don't either. All right. Do you have a website? Wait, I'd like to know that answer. Yeah, Do you have, no. a, do you have a website? <laughs> wait, I does do. she really have an answer wait, wait, for that? Stop, stop. Totally do you have a website? It's avoidingeverydaydisasters.com. Yeah. Thank you. Cheeseburger, hello. Hey, Kyle. Love you, love you, show. Good hey, morning. buddy. Good morning. Hey, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you very much for, you know, everything you always done. You know, I think you, uh, you know, you push your, your, your... Hey, Cheeseburger, I know you're very sensitive, and I love that, Aww. and you sound... No, 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 he sounds exactly like me at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm drunk calling everybody, telling them I love him. <laughs> uh, uh, you're fantastic. He's drunk. Yeah. Sounds like to me. Yeah. Slurring his words. Well, it but, is 7.45, so... But I get... <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I'm Jesse. Who am I supposed to be nice to, Kathy? Jesse. Jesse, okay. What about this guy over here with the bad body language? <laughs> Rudy. Rudy? And who's this guy? This is John. Rudy. Yeah, okay, Rudy. no, 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 no. Oh, wait a is minute. Is John the Brewer? Gutier- Gutierrez yeah. just, <laughs> Representative Gutierrez just walked out of the studio. We started oh, chanting oh. Rudy. Man, Cub, can you guess who the Brewer is? Oh, yeah, the guy with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> Got that facial hair. So, are you Goose Island guys? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Did Goose Island didn't go away? No. Okay. Is well, this the so the, the original are these new pub, flavors of Goose Island? A whole new menu, okay. and it's a revamped brew pub. And where is the brew pub now? It's a uh, Clybourne and Lincoln Park. Yeah. yeah. Is it where it used to be? Yeah. yeah. I've been yeah, there a lot. Place. Yeah. yeah. That's by your old house. house. I, I, li- yeah. I lived there for twenty years. Yeah. 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 I went in there a lot. Go over to Benny's. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Walk over to the Best Buy. Check out all the new. The new CD, <laughs> the new DVDs. Remember those things? That's exactly no. right. There's that burrito place on the corner. I mean, mm. mm. <laughs> a lot of late nights. I know it well. I know Jesse it well. is also the founder of Man BQ, and he wrote a couple of books. Man BQ. That's right. Not for women, just wimp, just men. No, we we've got co-ed events. How's Man BQ sound to you, Leslie? Not delicious. Mm. <laughs> Do you like it bone in? Of course. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, what is this, uh, Bourbon Bounty? Or bourbon? Oh, you gave, some, you gave him some Bourbon County? Gave him some Bourbon County. Don't you wait in line What's for your that problem with that? Dude, they, I mean, it sells out every year. People wait in line. Seriously? The day after Thanksgiving. Really? For hours upon hours to get their hands on it. Do you understand this is the first time this has ever happened in the history of this show that I know something that you don't or you know something that I don't? This is the first time this has <laughs> oh, ever happened. Oh, it is? Everything, usually what you say is just nonsense that I don't care what? about. Yeah. You and your George Washington Carver. <laughs> All your peanut yeah, okay. talk. Hey, next time you have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, yeah. say thank you. <laughs> I thought the peanut was from Eli Whitney. No. Next time you have cotton candy, thank him. Was it cotton candy? <laughs> yes. Okay, what what did what did Gutenberg give us? What did Gutenberg give us? He was, was the star. Baby? Co- yeah, cocoon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So this I gotta I gotta try this right Bourbon County from Goose Island. That's a yep, really and that's a 2013 stout from 2013. Okay. Is it still good? Oh yeah, yeah it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Some might argue better. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm just gonna drink it. Goonie, you ready that's to drink? Great. Yes, I am, buddy. Nicole Egbert is talking about how she, um, I guess, had her uh, stuff touched when yeah, she Nicole was 14 Egbert, right. by Scott Bayo. For 30 years, she said he was uh, her first love, and they, they got together after the show ended when she was 18 or 19. Um, he has been political lately, and now this all of a sudden. Um, do you believe her, Kathy? I, I want to tell you I, something I, else. I you, have to believe her. You have to believe her. You're too young to know, Al, Scott Bayo could have any girl on earth. Correct. Do you think he was molesting 14-year-olders? Well, he might be a pervert. It doesn't... That doesn't matter. It doesn't... But it's it's not logical for anybody to do that. Yeah, Elvis so, could have had any girl, but he married Priscilla, <laughs> right. who was fourteen. Right, she was a teenager. But he also, using that same uh, that same premise, he also could thought he could have any girl. Doesn't matter. How old was he at the time? He, he was an adult. He was thirty. He was 30 he was, I believe he was thirty-seven. <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have any idea. <laughs> I was actually thinking, how old was he? I mean, he had to. Leave. He was, he was in his like, in, his, in his thirties. Charles sure. in charge. No, he was, in his thirties. Yeah. No, or Charles in charge. Well, look it up. You got to assume he was in his twenties for Happy Days, right? Or at least twenty for Happy. How days? How old was he when Joni loves Chachi? And what about Zapped? Oh, Zapped. Why That's are we talking about this? He didn't do anything on the set of Zapped, did he? Oh God, I hope not. Because Willie Ames from the back, he looks. Willie was who I would like to yeah. put my fingers in, and I. 
That crazy hair of his. Didn't you just want to rub your fingers through it? Oh, uh, nope. What? Nope. No? Goonie, did you have a crush on Willie Ames when you were a son? What, when you were no. a little boy? What about Scott, what, Scott Bayo? What about Scott Bayo? Well, his cousin was on there, Jimmy Bayo. Oh, you like young <laughs> Jimmy? I hear you. Oh, you he was about yeah. seven. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big he young big Jimmy. Four when the show Jim started. Belushi fan. Yeah. What? He was about twenty-four ish. Twenty-four, and she was started. fourteen. Yeah, that's. Uh, he should be. In, he should go to jail. But I don't believe it happened. You do believe it. Why do you have to believe her? Because she's saying it. If she's saying it, oh. we have to believe her. There's no way to prove it. Okay. And if she feels this violated, it must have happened. It's like she's going after The Rock. She's going after some washed up loser. So. That's true. What's the benefit? Right. Like if something um, happened about Todd Bridges today, I'd have to believe it. Um. Well, excuse me. And, of course, I'm member 372 of the Scott Bayo fan club. I, <laughs> That's right. I don't think he's a loser. Okay? Did she ever pose naked, Nicole? I don't know. Is there any pictures Maybe of her naked online? Maybe for Playboy or something? Oh, I'll check Mr. Mm. Skin. I'd just like to see for you know, research purposes. Sure. Let me ask you something, Brewmaster from Goose Island. <laughs> Mr. Mambicue. Uh, yeah. Do you like looking at naked women? Well, I mean, I'd, I'd be lying if I said no. Have you ever seen Kathy naked? I have never seen. She said you have a history. (laughs) Not that kind of history. Are you Are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you. Do you know anyone that's ever had sex with her? I do not. Yes, you do. I'm friends with a lot of people. Uh, Exactly. 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 Enjoying the Man Cow Morning Show podcast day? Call the show and win free stuff if you got the stones. Weekday mornings, five thirty to nine thirty on Chicago's classic rock station, ninety-seven nine. The loop. She is a beauty. Come on in here, Kathy. Goose Island is here. Man, I'm getting lots of phone calls from friends. Oh, it's so good. I can't believe I have any fr- uh, you know, friends left the way I act. But Everything that they brought <laughs> is beer-infused, even the sorbet. Uh, Bourbon County Stout. Uh, I got ten friends asking, can you get me some? See? Told you. Can you get us some? <laughs> Told you. How did I know about this? I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I mean, it's well, like you know, it's like you've known about Punani for years and didn't tell me or something. How would you keep something it, so delicious? It does, from come, me? it does come out around Thanksgiving, so you're probably oh. out of the country. I don't know if you can hear, but I can, and and that's how you listen to radio through your ears. Yes, ears mouthful, you slob. What? My mouth isn't. Oh wait, full. wait a minute. I'm sorry. Mr. T yelled at me. Mr. T yelled at me. <laughs> yes. Now, I tell think, him he could do better, brother. Brother, you that's could right. do so much better if you didn't sound like such a slob. God, <laughs> stop eating. We're going on the radio. You know this. I'm a lover, not a fighter. This may be our final show. The station is bankrupt. If you'd like a deal on some gold records <laughs> or some signed guitars from the walls here, call right away. This show is for lovers oh, got plenty of yeah, are, only. Yeah. These are expensive microphones, too. The perfect pair, Kathy. Am I right? Oh, absolutely. Beer and cheese? That's right. Your left one and your right one? Your little tater tots? <laughs> I was thinking about in the shower today, how does snapping and rubbing your pants sound like rain in the jungle? Did you find that incredible? The, yeah, the, the that was wire? Really cool. They had a big piece of metal like you'd find on a roof. Yeah. And um, Africa, this choir, did it by snapping their fingers. Right. The song Africa by Toto. Mm-hmm. By snapping their fingers and rubbing their pants and shaking a big piece of uh, metal. Yeah. It sounded like thunder and rain. Yeah. Very cool. I agree. Wait a minute. Who am I talking to? Just you or is there other people listening right now? I don't know. I don't think so. Are we off here? I know the station's bankrupt. (laughs) What happens? What happens from here? So, Al, you got sports coming up? I do. A big win for the Blackhawks finally in a blockbuster NFL trade. Hey, Frankie. What's up, man? Man, I love it off your show. Hey, buddy. I think I know where you are. Yes. The The Beatles on the Ed Sullivan show. You're at the beginning. Oh, you're at the beginning. You're you're on the wrong side of things. Oh. God, I hope somebody else remakes Africa tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> so number one sauce for Super Bowl is ranch. ranch. Number two is buffalo. Then barbecue. Then honey mustard. Then blue cheese. Then teriyaki. Then sriracha. And then the number one, the number eight sauce is no sauce. What a stupid. Oh. Answer. Yeah, that makes no <laughs> sense. I do like the Wolf of Wall Street. Oh. Me too. And by the way, that is true. What? Whoever speaks first loses. That's true. You do say that all the time. My wife will not shut up. <laughs> I know you don't like to spend the money, but Whole Foods is having a sale on crab legs. Now, usually they're they're thirty dollars, but today they're nineteen. Now we don't have to get a lot, and the kids, you know, the kids. I'm thinking we okay. Go ahead. 
No, well, I mean they're on sale, and if we just go, we can have the dinner tonight, and I'll do. I thought we'd do some nice. Uh, you like that rice aroni? We'll have rice. Go ahead. It's over. You won. <laughs> you got it. We'll have rice aroni, and I thought we would melt some butter, and and then maybe have some rolls with it, and some and and do it. <laughs> Stop selling. Aww. My wife last night asked me during the middle of the State of the Union if Celebrity Apprentice was still on with Donald Trump. <laughs> and what was the first thing that came to your mind? Why did we have children? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had a guy on that was like, uh, well, I can tell you it was, a guy named uh, uh, Gordon Liddy. Was that his name? Gordon Liddy? Yeah. It's been years. Yes. And he said he's really bad at math mm -hmm. and he's short. Mm -hmm. So he found a woman that was tall and good at math. Right. So that his children, does anybody think about that? No. no. I mean, a Nazi would, I guess. I must breed with an area. <laughs> but who thinks like that? So I married a midget that's lousy at math and thinks the president still owes a game. Oh, she's petite. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Al, what were you thinking? Well, you weren't thinking we were ever going to have kids. Thank, no, well. Thank, thank God. Why thank happen. God? If there was ever a couple that should never have kids. Why? Oh, we would have had beautiful babies. What happened to your last kid? What happened to your last cat? Died. Exactly. And you're going to let them have a child? <laughs> a human child? <laughs> I used to chew tobacco. No. I, try, I tried it once. You? Yes. I started with a red man in my mouth. Red man chewed tobacco. Yeah. I was on a reservation. That's what we chewed. Oh. And uh, and then I moved to Skull Bandits, which are little pouches, and then moved right. to Skull. Ooh. And then I made a big mistake. What? Copenhagen. Is that the one that's got the fiberglass in it? So it cuts, I don't know, but so I was sick and inside and, and gets into your system quicker? Oh, that is disgusting. Southwest, 350 bucks. Is that what we're looking at? 300 some yeah. odd dollars yeah, that's that's right. to go that's to Newark. We should wait it out. It'll yeah. get cheaper. Yeah. That's, that's high. Lot. Yeah, we'll wait it out. We're going to Newark for the Misfits show. That's going to be fun. The original we lineup. We should make a whole weekend out of it. Maybe oh, go I'm going to make Broadway the whole. Show. Believe me, I'm going to make a whole weekend out of it. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a show. Believe me. You're going to hear a lot of this that weekend. <gasps> sucking What's in your that? gut. Yeah, sucking <laughs> in my gut. <laughs> <laughs> See, Al, I can... I know the sound. You understand exactly. <laughs> Remember the lights, Scott? My wife is laying there. My hot young wife is laying there. She hears... <sighs> I can finally let it out when the lights are out. Poor Abe. Can't suck in his chest. Yep. It's all chest. Ladies like your chest, though, don't oh, they? Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> oh, what's that all about? Yes, the ladies. Right. And the fellas. <laughs> it is quite impressive the way your boobies... Bounce the bomb, the thank boom, you. Bounce boom, the boom, 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 like they do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you two know each other? Jesse and I know each other through my friend Ralphie. Well, I call him Ralphie. His name is Rick Linus. Rick and oh I. My God. Oh my I don't care. Oh I don't care. God. It's like talking to my wife. What did I do? Make it stop. Make it stop. Jessica, hello. Hi, man cow. Hi, what's up? Love you, love your show. Thank so, you. Uh, one uh, one night I was out with my friends. Uh, we were having a couple of drinks. This guy started buying me drinks. And uh, I wasn't really interested, so I indulged him anyway, though. I figured I'd be nice. He basically told me he was a city worker, and he wanted to be one since high school. And I just laughed in his face, and he did not like that too much, and he poured his drink all over me. Thank you for calling with that story. It really is an incredible <laughs> story. Um, Let's go to uh, Mitch. Mitch, hello. Hey, Man Cow. Love you. Love the crew. Hey, brother. What's up? Hi, Mitch. I got an answer for uh, Where's Man Cow in History. Yeah. That'd be the Beatles' rooftop concert? The final performance by the Beatles on the rooftop of Apple Records. Nice. Wow. Absolutely. Job, yay, yay. Nice job, brother. Where is Morton, Illinois? Morton Grove, maybe? Morton in central Illinois. I'm... Um, I guess oh, it'll wow. be in central Illinois. I bet I've never heard of it. Me neither. Morton, Illinois provides 80% of the Earth's what? Oh. Do you know? I can guess. D don't guess. <laughs> yeah, she's looking it up. No, Where no, no. I'm looking up the location of Morton, but well, I why? have a good guess. Why? Why do you have a guess? How did you come up with a guess? Because you Googled something? Well, because of... Well, don't just say it. Morton Salt? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not? No. Oh, the Morton, Morton Salt Factory is off the Kennedy for like well, maybe 50 they, years. I thought maybe they get their salt from Morton. When it rains, it pours. Know. Morton. It's near Peoria. We've been there. Oh, boy. 
We oh, boy. We got a week there one day. Yeah, we got arrested there. <laughs> Morton, Illinois, the center of Illinois, provides 80% of the Earth's. You'll be shocked. Oh, wow. Hang on. I bought one of the greatest Babe Ruth baseball signed yesterday. Incredible. What? Oh, wow. Babe Ruth baseball signed. Really? It's considered the finest signature in the baseball anywhere on Earth. No way. From, what did, from Babe Ruth. What did that cost $87, you? $87,000. What? what? Yeah. You good. know we may we may not have a job tomorrow. No, no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I did. You know that guy I had on offering Mr. T a job to sign autographs. Yeah. Yes. He, he has he has the world's biggest collection of of Babe Ruth baseballs. Oh wow. And I said, um, w- w- I'm just curious, what would something like that cost? He said, mm, played a kid got it and played with it in the backyard, and you kind of read the autograph, yeah. five thousand dollars. Uh huh. And I said, okay, what about a good one? He goes, investment grade twenty thousand to a hundred thousand. Wow. Yeah. But, you know, he said you really should spend the money. Okay. <laughs> yes, of course you should. Yeah. Okay. I did get a hell of a deal yesterday, though, uh, on on uh, on eBay. What? Uh, I, got a, I got a Chief Wahoo costume. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking for a real treat, look up Fat Girls, BBW, uh-huh. for, uh, girls pleasuring themselves online. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you're looking for a real Why? treat. Let's, let's what not. is wrong with you? <laughs> let's not. Why don't you like black women? Oh, it's unbelievable. Why are you racist? I, just, I, I like black women. I just don't like getting my car keyed and getting my stuff thrown out the window. Oh, I see. I can okay. get away with anything. We're clear. Are you ready for this? 80% of what the world from the world comes from Morton, Illinois, near Peoria. Pat. Hey, man, I love you, love your show. Hey, brother. Is it canned pumpkin? Pumpkins for pumpkin pie. Oh, really? Wow. 80% of the world's supply of pumpkins for pumpkin pie come from Morton, Illinois. Oh, now, wow. Now, I have a trivia question. You cannot get a wrong answer. Okay. But it's the hot debate on the Internet right now. Okay. There's one or, one or two answers. Okay. You can pick one of two answers and win. Nobody's going to lose here. Okay. I'm just going to pick up the phone at random. First, we need a food critic for Goose Island. Goose Island and the address. Goose oh, Island. I'm sorry. What's the, what's the address said? Oh, no. What's the intersection? Oh, no. Clybourne and wait, Sheffield? Wait, 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 Sheffield and Clybourne. Okay, guys, guys. Worst ever. You don't <laughs> yeah, know the... Yeah, you don't know the bad. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> you don't know the address of your restaurant? Address. I know the, the cross streets. <laughs> Sheffield what? and Clybourne. Why didn't you say Goose Island Brew House? At... <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Oh. So much pressure, man. You I, froze. I crumbled. Again. Okay, quiet. I, I crumbled. Here we go. Shush. Shush. Goose Island Brew Pub, Sheffield and Claiborne. That's all you got to do. Nice. Nice. Say it. Goose Island Brew House, 1800 North Claiborne. Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! yes. 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 showed you. He should have been doing Ooh. the talking. <laughs> Not <laughs> Kathy's friend. Such a beautiful speaking voice, too. Goose Island Brew House. Why aren't you letting the sous address, chef talk? Address. 1800 North Claiborne. What's wrong with you? Wow. <laughs> They're drunk. <laughs> All right, Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. Hey, thanks. Thanks, I love, you. love your show. Take your ID so you can drink. We are sending you to Goose Island Brew House. Okay? Kathy, Manimal. Yes, ma'am. You know what Manimal is? Mm. What do you think Manimal was? What does it sound like it is? Um, a sex toy? No, Kathy. I like the way you think, but no. <laughs> That's my guess. Manimal was a man that could turn into any animal. Right. Oh, okay. So I think you'd agree with me. If they were to bring back... BJ and the Bear, yeah. or Super Train, or Super Man from Train. Atlantis, or something like that. Man from Atlantis was all, awesome. Be all in. Man from Atlantis. They found a guy <laughs> with webbed hands and toes. Patrick okay. Duffy. Oh, from really? Dallas. And he was oh, wow. the man from Atlantis. Okay. And there was like this obese homosexual that wanted him. That had a sub. I <laughs> oh kept my chasing gosh. him. Remember that? Was awful. He's yes, being chased by I do. Him. Do you ever see Wild Wild West? No. Their enemy was a midget named Dr. Loveless. <laughs> <laughs> and he was terrifying. Oh yeah, why? Oh, it's why my 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 brother has a phobia, you know, still phobia about terrified, terrified of midgets. Little people. Little, sorry, yes. Um, I love the show <laughs> called Phoenix. They found a guy in a pyramid, uh-huh. an ancient astronaut in a pyramid. Okay. And he took his power from the sun. Very cool. Total flop. Do you remember Auto Man, the TV show based on Tron? A guy could turn into a car. Don't remember oh, that. Wow. That sounds like Auto Man. On ABC. <laughs> that sounds awful. This is the show I want to come back. Can anyone guess what it is? You know, if you see Stranger Things, you realize all the synth music and the titling and everything. Mm-hmm. They really stole a lot from our childhood. Yeah, they, and they did a great job, by the way. 
It's the Man Cow Morning Show podcast, so no prizes for you. Listen live for the free stuff weekday mornings, 5.30 to 9.30 on Chicago's classic rock station, 97.9 The Loop. So today the bank decides what happens with this frequency. It will continue. There's some talk that the people that own the drive are going to get this and then lose the drive and just keep the loop, which oh, is the snap. bigger successful station. Really? Wow. Would they continue with me? The rumor is yes. Then we've heard 101 is going to the people that own what station? I think you, I think you said Entercom, didn't you? What did they own the mix? No, the mix is Hubbard. So it's not that group. It's the other group. iHeart? Yeah, but they also have, they already have they a, own Kiss FM. That's the one. That's okay. the one. And a, a lot, of, you know, a lot of these people could just invest and just Shutter one or two stations or do something else with it. Do like old urban or something. Yeah. Who would listen to a bunch of old urban songs bleeped? <laughs> a lot of people, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Hey, Costa, how are you? Is he there? I got it. Costa. Yosta. Yeah. Costa, yeah. All right. Oh, this guy's so sexy. He's so sexy. Do you find Costa? I love how he always has his arms exposed. He never wears sleeves. Everything is sleeveless. <laughs> He's yeah. got great guys. Listen, Costa, <laughs> Costa, t- today the bank decides what happens with the loop. I know he's just a, one of my good friends. Yes. Uh, if the show goes off the air, what will you do, Costa? What will you listen to? What about something else? Not yeah. this. Yeah, something else. Okay, good. Yeah, if we're not on the air, he'll listen to something else. <laughs> so I know you're, how many Harleys do you have? I got four right now. Mm, four? Okay. Wow. Bad boy. So, so they are, um, they are, uh, they're in real trouble right now. They're closing factories. Um, they're going to do an all electric motorcycle. Do you think people want someone Harley Davidson? Harley Davidson, yeah. Do you think people want an electric Harley? No, no you want to hear, you hear the noise. Wants an electric Harley. What the sound? Nobody wants an electric it's like a Chinese bike. Who wants that? No one wants an electric Harley. Today's show brought to you by Kawasaki. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but listen, um, I, I the the electric motorcycle for guys that are born to be mild. What's yeah. wrong with yeah. that? It's eco friendly. It's oh modern. God. Kathy, I think it's great. Kathy. And it's whole, really annoying, yeah, yeah. actually, to hear a, a Harley rev up. Oh yeah, the point I don't like the it. Them to get a ton of attention. And rev it up Kathy's really loud. Dating, oh. Wait, here's the thing. Kathy's not dating a real Greek man. Otherwise, she would love the Harley. Oh. <laughs> okay, Costa, here's what I want to know. If if Harley continues yeah. like this and they and they go out of business, will you have to accept the size of your penis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, deal breaker. <laughs> How do you say his last name? I don't know it. Photo... Popolis? Oh, Photopolis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Steve Hackett, man, with Genesis. Coming up. Hello. Hey, this is Premier Networks. I have Steve Hackett for you. I- I'm ready for him. Hey, what's going on? All right, great. You're out. Is that 29? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be on it. I'm all over it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, hi there. There isn't anyone else you could talk to on uh, on in radio that loves you more than me. Oh, well, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, you and I shared a moment. You probably don't even know this moment. Go but, on, but I'll get you close enough to the moment. Okay. Okay. Wall of Astoria, one of my favorite moments in life. Right. Wall of Astoria, Radio Hall of Fame. Right. Okay. M- Michael Douglas is there. Right. You're there inside the bathroom. Right, okay. No, stay stay with me, please. I'm I'm being serious, so don't I, I know you want to dismiss this. Okay, so uh, I you're, okay. you're 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 right there behind me. I stand up I decorate I, anyone's shoes. What did I do? No what no did I do wrong. No no, hang on, hang on. Okay. So I step up to the urinal and yep. next to me is Mike Nichols, who did the graduate spam a lot and a bunch of other great stuff. The mm-hmm. legend Mike Nichols. Yes. And I'm and his wife Diane Sawyer's out waiting for him. I step right. up to the urinal. You're behind me, Steve Hackett, who I am a huge fan. I got to say something. I got Michael Douglas, Steve Hackett from Genesis, and next to me is one of the funniest, most brilliant men. That's, and I say, boy, this water is cold. It's all I can come up with. It's weak. Mike Nichols looks over at me and says, I wish I had a foot long instead of instead of this monster. And everybody, he kicked my ass, and everybody in the bathroom laughed. Oh, well. Yeah, that was uh, that was a great evening. Actually, that was uh, uh, quite 
quite extraordinary, a very emotional evening, as I recall. Yes, sir. And when I came out of the bathroom, Peter Wolf was there, and I said, you're skinny. He said, I'm so skinny I could fall out my own butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I ran into Robbie Robertson. He says, I said, you're Robbie Robertson. He goes, nobody ever recognizes me. I said, are you kidding? You're Robbie Robertson. He goes, I never get recognized. Oh, wow. Steve, you were very nice. Phil was very nice. Mike was very nice. I was I was shocked at the level of dickness of of uh, of Tony Banks. Oh, really? Could not have been a nastier prick to me. I and I for no reason. I can't remember. Yeah, who knows what, it, what went down? I is he know. is he nice to you? He is these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I always I, I want to tell you after meeting Genesis, it it occurred yeah. to me that um, the problem. Was was and and seeing all the interviews with Peter Gabriel mm -hmm. and I've interviewed Peter Gabriel. The problem was yeah. probably Tony Banks. Hmm. Well, I, you know, I I, I think that I saw him recently uh, at something, and he, and he said to me, you know, I, he said, I think you and I are very similar. You know, he wanted to control it all, and he thinks that I'm a control freak these days. And uh, I said, yeah, you know, that's what happens when you do a solo career. That's that's what happens. It's easier to be the controller when it's a solo career, when it's a band. Yeah. People tend to to balk at it more. Yeah, all of all of the the great stuff that you guys have done in recent years, the interviews, and I, as a Genesis fan, I've loved it. And and shocking to me, and we just for, forgive my ignorance, uh, real real ignorance. But it's just so you have to understand, it's so different in America. It didn't matter. Phil Collins was talking, but I think Steve, you may have mentioned something like it. It didn't matter who you were mm -hmm. or how big you were, because the class system in England and the schools that they went to. Guys like Peter Gabriel and, and Anthony Banks, I think, these are members of Genesis. Yeah. No matter how big Phil, because he went to a, he was on the wrong side of England. Really? And he went to a crappy school that he, no matter what he did, he was always second class, because that's oh. how it is in England. Oh, wow. Is There is a class divide in England, yeah. You know, what we call public schools actually is what you call private schools. See? So it's it's like oh. a bit like Harvard or... Or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, there is a kind of there's a, there's a snobbery that goes with that. And I think that you know the Genesis guys when they were growing up at that school uh, were all being geared up to be able to lead a charge in the Crimea without flinching. I do. The story of Genesis is a fascinating one. I've seen you numerous times. At um, I think the last time was at the Arcata Ron Onesis Theater. Um, yeah. Incredible, John Wetton. I'm, I'm growing my hair right now in honor of John Wetton to recreate it. John Wetton did a lot of stuff with Steve Hackett. John Wetton was the brilliant, beautiful lead singer of uh, of Asia. God rest his soul. And um, uh, Steve, I, I love uh, I, and I've seen Musical Box over thirty times. Are you a fan of that cover band? Yes, I think they do it very well. In fact, I played with them. I, I, I guessed it with them doing uh, Firth of Fifth, you know. Uh, so, uh, yes, I know all about them. And you mentioned John Wett, and, and, it, and uh, it is the anniversary of his passing. But, you know, he was a wonderful, Wait. wonderful guy, wonderful singer. Today? Sweet man. Yeah, yeah, this is the very oh, day. Oh, gosh. dear God. Wow. Boy, did I love that guy. So it, it's appropriate that, 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 that you mentioned Wow, him. beautiful. Yeah, he's, in a, he's in a lot of people's thoughts, a lot of people's hearts. Uh, Lamb, Lamb lies down on Broadway. Uh, your thoughts? Yes. Um, much maligned. I think it's one of the greatest musical pieces in history. You're you're incredible on it. Um, how do you think it's aged, or what do you think of it now in 2018? I think it sounds better now than it ever did. It's it's there's something about the, the the passing of time makes certain songs and certain projects sound all the all the sweeter because you hear all the crap that comes afterwards, and you think, I'm glad I did that. El Nino is your new song. I'm going to play it. You've got some new music out. Where can people find New Hackett? Uh, well, you can get it on. You can get it uh, via the, the the website HackettSongs.com. You can get it from Amazon. If you can find a, a, a record shop anywhere, you can you can get it from that. I'm on Inside Out Records, uh, which basically it's Sony that distributes. Sony, that. So Sony are the are the guys. Yeah. I I have all of your uh, solo stuff. Will you name for the people listening the Genesis records you were part of? Uh, Nursery Crime, Foxtrot, Genesis Live, Landmines Down on Broadway, uh, uh, Selling Selling England by the Pound, uh, Trick of the Tail, uh, Wind these. and Wuthering, and uh, Seconds Out. I'm uh, I'm going to the Hall of Fame. Uh, my friends, because of the stupid show, the Moody Blues. So it's been a crusade of mine for for many years to get them in the Hall of Fame. Are you going to this uh, this this um, Hall of Fame ceremony? Uh, no, I won't be. I'll be. I'll be off to the uh, cruise on uh, cruise uh, to the edge 
um, tomorrow. So oh, great! I, I won't be doing that, but uh, I, I wish the guys, you know, great success. Were you were you a competitive? Did you guys feel competitive with bands like Yes and and the Moody, the Moody Blues and other uh, prog rock bands, or did you just well, feel like you were doing your own thing? They became our friends, and uh, we worked with a lot of them. And I worked with Justin Haywood on a charity project, and a very sweet guy. Yes, he is. Um, so I think um, I, I don't think of people as competitors. I think of them as as collaborators. Uh, prog rock, much maligned by many people, much maligned by Rolling Stone magazine, the bastards. Um, uh, is prog rock finally getting the love it deserves, or no? I think that it, it's had a reappraisal, and uh, those of us who are, are still doing pan-genre music, or collision, as I prefer to think of it called, um, uh, I can't see that there's a problem with music that is full of surprises. Um, Frank Zappa did that. You know, I think perhaps the spirit of what he did was something that should lat latterly be called progressive. If Genesis were progressive, then so was he. What was your uh, masterpiece on, just a geek question, forgive me, Steve, just because I love it. What is, what is, uh, what's your favorite work on uh, Lamb Lies Down on Broadway? Oh, let me see. Uh, probably a Fly on a Windshield, I think. Not the knife? Uh, well, the knife is on, is uh, the original recording is, is on Trespass, the album before I joined the band, but there's a live version of that okay. on Genesis Live. So on Genesis Live, there's, there's a pretty nice version. That's you there though, right? On the live recording? Yeah. On the live one, yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, man. What a joy talking to you. Congratulations on the new music. I'm going to play it now. This is new Steve Hackett, 2018. El Nino. Genesis reunion looks very likely. Oh, really? And it looks like Steve Hackett will be part of it. Nice. Would that reunion include Peter Gabriel and Phil Collins? Ooh, right now, it wow. looks. Oh, Huge. come on! Right now, it looks like it's just Phil Collins. But they were very close to having Gabriel the last time around, and it played yeah. the United Center about a decade ago. Yeah, they could play Soldier Field if. Oh man, with Gabriel! If, oh oh yeah. man. Sure. This is good music to drink. What is this beer that you can't get out that I can get now? Because the Bourbon I'm, County? Best, I'm best friends with the head of, of, of uh, <laughs> Goose Island. Goose Island. Uh, Why yes. is it so special, this particular beer? We don't make a lot of it, and it's the, the process. John, I'll let you talk about the process. It's really labor intensive. It's a pretty labor intensive process. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of grain huh? to make a very high what alcohol beer. What? 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 <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, gonna kick your ass, <laughs> dude. I, I gave you a look like, dude, dude. What? I, I don't, I know, I don't care. I, I, it's just good beer. Well, do you, Kathy? These questions. We, we put what? it in wood. Come on, is that, is that is simplifying? It so special? Oh. Everybody it's wants it. Bourbon barrels. Let me tell you what makes things, something special. What? Okay, like <laughs> Kath, like what you're sitting on there, Kathy. Oh, she got a fat ass. One of a kind, and everybody wants it. Okay. Yeah, All right. That's right. They don't make a lot of it because it's right. labor intensive. <laughs> Probably doesn't taste much different than the kind you could just get every day. I used to know. I used to know the uh, answer. Why is it called Goose Island? It's on Goose Island. Thank you. That's pretty. It's, <laughs> 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 I get a I get a short answer when I want a long one. I get a long one when I want a short one. Story of my life, <laughs> man. Oh, my show. So they're bringing back uh, all kinds of TV shows. I got a TV show theme I want to play. If you know what it is, call and win. And be here tomorrow morning to see if we have jobs. Oh, jeez. Where does Greg Salk work now? I don't know. I think XRT. Oh, God. What an anus. Oh, wait, he could be our new boss? Fantastic. Oh. 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 I think I'd rather walk. Yep. What's going on in sports, Al? Blackhawks, they lost three in a row. They're oh. in last place, but they got a much-needed win yesterday, 2-1 to one over the Predators. Bulls start a three-game West Coast trip in Portland tonight. The day after a blockbuster NBA trade that saw Blake Griffin go from the Clippers to the Pistons, mm -hmm. a blockbuster NFL trade sends quarterback Alex Smith from the Chiefs to the Redskins. And Gronk, Ron, Gr Rob Gronkowski, still in... Uh, protocol for a concussion Ooh. that he suffered a week and a half ago. He says he's going to play in the Super Bowl, but it's not up to him. The line has dropped 
Uh, the Patriots were seven point favorites. Now they're four and a half point favorites. Oh, wow. Oh, That's man. man cows in your face sports. Kiss my black ass if you don't like it. So how do you two know each other, Kathy? You have a mutual friend. Yeah, we did college yeah, radio care. together at Triton. Oh, WRG, that's oh, right. But that was Triton awesome. Triton College Radio was super fun. Okay, all right. So I want wow. them to bring this back. <laughs> this is the show I want them to bring back. Al, do you know it? Not yet, and I should. I should know this, but I don't. It's not ringing a bell. Abe, you're probably too young. I know this. I don't know why I know this. Your dad watched it? Probably I your bet brother. He did. Mike. Hey, Kyle, love your show. Bring it back. What's the show? Air Wolf. Is there any other shows right now about cool helicopters? <laughs> oh, oh, remember Blue Thunder? I'm telling you, that was all. <laughs> with, with Bubba Smith. <laughs> oh. So I am growing my hair and trying to style it like John Wetton, the lead singer of yes, Asia, right. circa 1982. Right. Very contemporary. Thank you. I appreciate that. So... <laughs> So the lead singer of Squacket, Steve Hackett's band, after Genesis, uh-huh. was John Wetton. Yes. When they formed a supergroup, you had to have a huge name for this group. Okay. I mean, it was a supergroup, Asia. Sure. Asia, the, right. a huge continent. Yeah. They couldn't just name it, you know. It had to be Asia. Right. Right. So, so I'm talking to Steve Hackett, Hackett yeah. minutes ago about how I'm growing my hair to look like John Wetton, his old lead singer. Sure. Today's the anniversary of John Wetton's And name. you're wearing a Genesis shirt. All of it, just the Came universe, together. huh? I know, it's incredible the way it works. <laughs> it is. If, if you look around, there's all kinds of signs. Sure. And you can notice that some people are reptilian shapeshifters. What? It depends how much uh, Goose Island beer you have, Al. You'll see them, too. <laughs> this has been the Man Cow Morning Show Podcast. You can actually be part of this cluster by calling the show when it's live. Weekday mornings, 530 to 930 on 97.9 The Loop.